Now, Gunsmoke, uh, people, younger people may not understand it, how dominant this program was on 20 years. Why was it so successful? What was it about Gunsmoke when you had 50 other Westerns? Gunsmoke was created by these guys, uh, and they put it on radio, and they were exceptionally good writers and creators. And they were so good that then they decided to put it on to television. And we were really, I think, the first uh, of the Westerns, the, the more adult Westerns, as they called them. I think we were the first ones to come on. You take one more step and I draw. No matter. I'm close enough now. You don't know whether you are or not. I say you're not. Well, I say I am. Now, you came across as a TV John Wayne. And you knew John Wayne. You guys were buds, right? Well, yes. Actually, I was under contract to his company for three years prior to Gunsmoke, you see, and did several movies with him. And you both were tall, big guys, a little laconic, didn't talk a lot. <laughs> right. Just beat up the bad guys. <laughs> Whack. Well, he was, believe me, he was a great man. He was a one of a kind. There will never be another guy like him. When I first heard about the show Gunsmoke, I knew there was only one man to play in it, James Arness. He's a young fella and may be new to some of you, but I've worked with him and I predict he'll be a big star. Did you model your character, Matt Dillon, after the John Wayne characters that he played in the movies? Um, well, not consciously. I just played what was written on the page there and tried to get into that character. And I guess <clears throat> there were qualities there that... Uh, matched up, so no, you know. Very similar. I'm a pretty important citizen in Kansas, Marshal, and I run things my way. Yeah, but you don't run the United States government, Jake. You don't run me. Now, not too many people know this, but you were a war hero. Uh, Anzio Beach uh, got wounded during World War II. Anzio, uh, for those of you who don't know, one of the most toughest fights that the USA had in Italy. Yes. Um, how did that change your life? I wasn't a, a war hero, Bill. I was just a guy that was there. I was an infantry rifleman and uh, went through, I uh, was actually there on the beachhead for three weeks and got shot down, and then they hauled me out of there. 18 months rehab. And that's right. That's I, right. I consider that a hero, Mr. Arness. Well. I know you're modest, but I consider that a hero. When you watch television today and you compare it to what you guys did, what do you think? Uh, well, it's a different world. They don't appeal to me personally that much. You don't like the graphic stuff and the language and all that? No. no I, See, I never heard anybody curse on Gunsmoke, did any? No. At least on camera. No. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> right. You're also on TV land now, you know, so you get the reruns going. Yes. still all over the world. Yes. And you still get mail, right? Uh, we get email that you wouldn't believe, and it keeps increasing. We get, I'd say, probably uh, maybe 100 emails a week. You know why? Well, I... Because people need heroes these days, Mr. Arnez, and you're a hero. You're a hero as an actor on the screen, and you're a hero as a real guy fighting for your country. And people know that, and that's why you're a TV icon, that's why you're sitting here on The Factor, and we really appreciate you coming on in. I'm a lawman, heck. I got no choice. All right, man, I understand. Well, let's go. No.